Well, today we're very happy to, to launch a new set of what we're calling Global Smart Drinking Goals. And we've been investing in initiatives that go towards responsible drinking for the past 30 years. And so we continue on this journey and there's much to be done. I really like the Six Cities project, and I'll tell you why. It's because it, it seems to me like it'll, it'll provide a wonderful laboratory to test individual um, ideas for how to reduce harmful use of alcohol, as well as to implement ideas we already know are pretty good, but we haven't tested them in real world settings. Publishing the results, regardless of whether they achieve the full targets, is itself going to be an enormous gain for the company and gain for public health. We're committing to spend $1 billion by 2025. We already have a, a rich history of investing in initiatives around uh, drunk driving, helping parents um, to speak to their children about making the right choices around drinking. And it's really about working with experts and taking this to the next level with bigger and bolder programs and initiatives. So I think spending a billion dollars setting out to change people's behavior that is enormous because obviously A, a billion dollars is a lot of money and B, the power you have today to drive and affect positive change is enormous. So we really think one of the uh, key ways to help to address the harmful use of alcohol is by providing consumers with choice. Choices that they can turn to on different drinking occasions. That takes enormous courage inside the company as well because it requires serious investment in R&D. It's going to involve um, changing consumer preferences. It's going to transform the type of marketing and sales that they traditionally have been used to. And if they success, we'll build an entirely new category of beverages that hopefully be more healthy and of low to no alcohol content. Our challenge will be to provide the choice, not just from a commercial perspective, but to provide the choice to also change social behavior. And with a low alcohol or, or no alcohol, we can actually take also some of the stigma, or the negative stigma away from, from the category. We believe that empowering consumers, it's an important step in that direction of getting people to drink smartly. And we believe information and alcohol literacy is something that's key for consumers to make better choices. Having a label that tells me as a consumer what I'm getting or to sometimes give me a warning is a way that I can protect myself and that I can educate my children. They'll be using top-notch independent academic people separate from the company to assure that what they say they're going to do really happens in the field. If the evidence is, is done in a scientific way, reported in peer-reviewed journals as I think their goals are set out to do, it would go far in moving the field forward. You know, private sector has to play a big role. Government cannot do everything. And we have to achieve these goals. And I think a big corporation like the one that we work with is in very good position because the problem is global. If you take a company like InBev and you say, okay, we're no longer a neighborhood's beer or a country's beer. We are in fact a corporation representing the world. You want your populace to enjoy your product but be healthy enough for tomorrow. So the message in these goals, which are very ambitious, is to drink smart but celebrate tomorrow. Mm -hmm.